Hello, welcome back to ARC Training. My name's Simon. Uh, I'm going to run through what a student actually sees. Um, so, from a pupil's point of view, uh, what we can and what we can't have a look at. So, if you're a pupil and you're watching this, hi, I hope you're having a lovely time. And I hope that you're not suffering too much learning all this from home. So, let's have a quick look. What we're going to do is we're going to go to teams.microsoft.com. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. If I could set up Microsoft right, there you go, even, even professionals get it wrong. So we're going to go to teams.microsoft.com. That will actually redirect us to this login screen that I had up earlier, and I'm actually going to log on as one of my pupils, which is ArcPupil1. Then it will need you to enter your password, obviously I've got my password in already, and this is what we see from, uh, from your point of view as a pupil. Uh, unfortunately I must apologise, my internet connection is appalling this afternoon. I don't know why, it just genuinely is. So it takes a little while to load. Uh, but while it's loading, let me just say that um, don't be afraid of Teams. Uh, Teams is a, a, a great thing, it's a lovely tool to use. So hopefully you'll find it as useful as, as your tutors do. So let's have a quick look. We've on the left hand side down here we've got what we call the me space. So this is everything to do with you. These are the your assignments, your teams, your calendar and your activity. And then on this right hand side we've got this much bigger area over here. It's it's nice and sort of grey. Uh, this is what we call the, the we space. This is where we get the teams information from. So let's just have a look at our activity. So anything that's cropped up um, that your teachers assigned to you so you know if we have assignments they will pop up in here um, if we have things like um, here we go look so we've got uh, some tests that have been assigned uh, some meetings that have been cancelled uh, all of this sort of stuff is is available in the activity so anybody that sends you a message or any activity that you're involved with immediately comes into activity into our feed activity okay so if we wanted to, uh, you can go into the different bits and pieces and we can actually have a look at exactly what's been going on. Okay, again, I'm apologising for my stupidly slow internet. Okay, um, let's have a quick look in our calendar for a moment. Uh, our calendar by default will show us a Monday to Friday because that's our work week, isn't it? We start school on a Monday, we finish on a Friday and then we have a lovely weekend off. Uh, so these are things that, that have been in this pupil's calendar this last week. Um, obviously I've cancelled most things because you know I don't want to keep getting notifications all the time. But if you look in here, every week this is what your week will look like. And we can actually navigate our week forward. So I'm just going to push next week. Uh, and it's going to come up with hardly anything apart from a few things that I've cancelled. Um, obviously, you know, your, your tutors will be putting stuff in here. Um, so you might have you know how the Vikings invaded and all of that sort of stuff whatever it is that you're you and your teacher are doing at school will actually appear in here eventually we've got the teams tab and again this is us don't forget this is the me tab this is the wee bit so these are the teams that that this pupil is involved with and this pupil is involved with Thor um, I think I created this while I was on a Norse um, sort of mythological quest so we have team Thor uh, and obviously we are a member of Thor so we can go into Thor and we can see the various bits and pieces now when I set this up I set this up so that we can have a look in general uh, that's fine that's no problem we can start a new conversation in general this depends on uh, some settings that your teacher has applied so you might not actually be able to start a, a conversation but you might be able to reply to uh, a conversation uh, so let's go with Fred and Barney who are obviously from the Flintstones uh, we have America now if you see down here we've got a padlock next to America uh, if you're not a member of America that means that you can't see America okay so what we decided was we'd have uh, a private channel uh, and I think my I think I put in Arc Pupil One and Arc Pupil Two, so this would be as if we we were collaborating on a project. Uh, so you and another student are, are working on a project about how the Vikings uh, discovered America, 
uh, you know, 100, 200 years before Christopher Columbus pretended that he did. And it was a, it was a gentleman called Leif Erikson. So this is a, a private conversation between uh, you and a pupil to and your teacher. So, ignore my terrible spelling, I'm very, very sorry. So this is a private conversation only with the people that, that, that I'm working with and our teacher, okay? So if I was asking questions from pupil two by saying, uh, I, I found this piece of information, what do you think? We can go backwards and forwards like that. There is a blacksmith one here, uh, because obviously Vikings have blacksmiths. Now what we can see is you can't post anything in this channel. You can't click in there and actually create a new message. But you can reply to a message. So if something is already up there, we can go pupil one rules. Here we go. Uh, so you can reply to a message, you can't post them. And again, that's something that your teacher has decided uh, and could say if they want to. Uh, then we've got boats. Now, uh, the Viking boats had a very shallow beam so they could get up rivers and things, um, as I'm sure you all know. Um, so we have boats uh, and we can actually start a new conversation here and we can reply to conversations as well. Um, it's automatically set to show up in everybody's channel list. Okay, if we go back to our general tab for the time being, when your teacher uh, uploads files that everybody can see or she wants you or he wants you to look at, if we look on our little files tab here, and again, I apologize for my incredibly slow internet. Do, 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 just talk amongst yourselves, here we go. Okay, so we have um, some things in here. Uh, so if your teacher needs to give you something that you need to edit, uh, you know, that you can change, We'll, we'll put it straight in this immediate flow of general. This is just a picture of some minions. There we go. Everybody loves pictures of minions, don't we? So here's some pictures of some minions. I'm just going to push close on that. Now we can actually delete that. We can edit that. We can change anything in the general part down here. If we look in class materials, uh, and again, um, we have uh, an Excel spreadsheet and an image. We can't change anything in here. Um, these are read <coughs> excuse me these are read only files your teachers put these up here uh, so they're a class resource so that you can see them but you can't actually change them you can't actually do anything with them you can actually try if you like um, but nothing really sort of is, is going to happen because what will actually happen if my internet catches up if my internet catches up, thank you. Read only. Uh, this workbook was opened in read only mode, so it is read only. All you can do is is view it. Okay, so I'm going to push close on that. And again, it's the same with the image that's in there. Uh, let's go back into class materials, uh, and we'll open up that image. If I click on that image again, it's read only. We can't do anything with it if it finally loads. Here we go, there's some very nice motorbikes and a trike. So, uh, here we go, let me close that. So they are read-only files. You can't change anything in the class materials folder, but you can download and change things in here, okay? If we have a look at our class notebook, You will eventually see when my internet finally lets us. Here is our class notebook. There is uh, a welcome to our class notebook here. It's quite slow because I'm obviously using the app. Um, sorry, not using the app. I'm using the, the, the web kind of side of things. Um, and obviously, if my internet's not very good at the moment, then it's not very good. So we have a welcome to class notebook. We have a collaboration space. So if I just expand our collaboration space, uh, here we go. Welcome to the class notebook, uh, and we can we can put things in here, and so can our teachers. So our teacher has put in about Freya. Uh, we were talking about Norse mythology, so there's a, a short piece. So we've got read the document and write a short piece on Freya. So there's a, a document that would be related to Freya, and and that's what you would 
have to open up, you'd look at that and you'd write your piece on Freya. We've also got Arc Pupil 1. Now the collaboration space, anybody can see that. So whatever you do, don't upload things, don't type things, don't write things in uh, our collaboration space that you don't want other people to see. So if, on the other hand, here we go, here's Freya. So I've done my homework. Uh, and Freya's sisters uh, are friggin' hell. Actually, it's hell, not hella. So let me just take that. There we go. Uh, her name is Hell, and she was actually the guardian of the underworld, um, which is actually where we get our modern day hell from. So we have um, Freya's sisters, friggin' hell. Uh, if we want to, we can add, just about see at the bottom of my screen, it says add section. So I can add a section called um, Thor if I wanted to. We now have a section down here called Thor. If we want to title, if we want to put a title on this page, we just click in the page uh, and let's just say um, he had a hammer. Okay. And we, if we expand that back out, he had a hammer. There we go. Uh, and obviously we can type in everything we want. We can also add a page if we want to. Uh, I know you can't see because it's just off the bottom of my screen, but we can add a page. Or we can add as many pages as, as, as we like. He had a hammer. Um, and later, an axe, but only in the Marvel movies. Uh, so don't take that as gospel. So here we go. So now we can actually change whatever we want and we can, oh dear, I do apologize. I obviously pushed the wrong button over there. Let's just close that back up. So this is our class notebook. So our teacher can see our class notebook here and we can see our pupil one notebook, but only you can see, but only those two people. There's only you can see your class notebook and your teacher can see your class notebook. So if you need to share something with your teacher that you don't want um, other people in your class to see, put it in your class notebook. And then uh, teachers can see it, you can see it. Um, so at the moment we've uh, we've added as you as a as a pupil we've added Thor uh, and and these bits and pieces here. I'm just going to go into my teaching account for a moment. So just give me one second, and I'm going to go into Thor, and I'm going to go to the class notebook. And I'm going to go to Pupil 1's class notebook. Oh, my laptop is so slow, come on. Oh. It's a good job we've got patience, isn't it? Otherwise, this could be very frustrating. By the way, if you're watching this and you're a teacher, don't forget to always have a drink on hand because if you talk a lot, you will need to wet your whistle. So I've actually got a very nice glass of uh, cold diet cola. So we, as a teacher, get to see everything, but we're gonna look in Arc Pupil 1, where we've just added the Thor tab. So there's our Thor section. He had a hammer and later uh, an axe. So let's just type down there. I know. And um, yeah, why not? Let's just put in little smile there okay so we're gonna go back to uh, he had a hammer I know and a smiley face so not only can you write in your notebooks but your teacher can write in your notebooks as well so it's actually quite a nice way of um, you know you you would take your your work up to the front uh, and show your teacher this is exactly the same thing you know and then your teacher might write on there you know very good or you know uh, have you thought about this have you thought about that this is exactly the same thing this is just like you taking your work to to your teacher in class and your teacher seeing it okay um, if we have any assignments they do turn up in our assignments tab so we'll just click on assignments and at the moment we've got nothing to left <laughs> nothing left to hand in hashtag winning uh, have we completed any yeah so we've actually completed a couple of things um, just while I've been messing around uh, doing stuff but yeah so any assignments will appear in here they will also appear in the assignments tab over here 
which is our next tab down from teams so we've got four uh, obviously if you were in more than one team we can choose whatever so if you were in team Od if you were in a class called Odin or Loki or, or anything else you've got multiple classes you click which one that you're interested in you click next and then we can see what well it's exactly the same sort of window just from a slightly different view okay we've also got these three buttons here I would ignore all of this if I were you um, most of these are actually disabled by default anyway so there's no point really having a look um, so there we go so this is uh, Microsoft Teams this is your portal to your school this is exactly as if you were sat in your class with your teacher the same rules and regulations apply um, exactly the same so whatever you don't think that you can get away with in class you don't get away with on teams it's exactly the same everything that you put in a message everything that you write everything that you put in your notebook your teacher gets to see um, so if i were you um, i would use it for its proper purpose uh, and i would definitely not mess around with it okay so i hope that's been really useful to you that's a very quick kind of run through uh, from your point of view as a student um, if you need any ev any further sort of uh, questions answering just ask your teacher they, they, they know all sorts of stuff because teachers are amazing so i hope you have a lovely day uh, and i hope you've enjoyed this thank you very much bye